I think many of the Christians that have been sort of fading uh, in, in the leadership, key leadership positions that have faded and lost their, whether it's their zeal or their, their passion for Christ or lost their, their belief system altogether, I think it shows a root system. Uh, it's, you know, as Jesus talks about the, the parable of the soil and soils, and you see that there are certain things that are dead giveaways, that there was never a healthy root system that, that did not take hold and, and dig deep. There were different things that choked it off. And I would say we're lacking an understanding of suffering. Very simply put, I think it probably is, I could almost center it on that. Because when you grow up in America, you don't deal with the difficulties that other Christians, when they first come out of the spiritual birth canal, they are dealing with huge issues, life-death issues. In America, you can just coast your way through for most of it, and you can become famous, and you can write a book, you can have uh, albums, and you can just feel good and get tons of money, and you get a false rendition of Christianity. That's not how it's worked throughout the ages. Christians are held in contempt. Even the word Christian itself was a slur word when it came out. In other words, there's, it's never been a popularity thing. It has been a Jesus thing. And so as a result, without the idea of suffering, suffering is part and parcel. Do not consider it strange, my brethren, when you face trials of many kinds. And guess what? Modern day Christians think it's strange when they face trials. And so you'll see a root system tested when the trial comes. When the trial comes and a man suddenly turns on God and says, God, how could you allow this to happen to me? That man was not built properly. He was not built on the word of God. He was built on a social ideal of Christianity. So he picked and chose what he wanted out of Christianity and not what God said. Because God says you will face difficulties in this life. God made it very clear that you're a sheep among wolves. God made it very clear that this world will not like you (laughs) because it didn't like him. You are a light shining in a dark place. Expect the same treatment that came towards Jesus to come towards you. But then God builds the saints that understand this to be solid so that when it comes, we turn to him. We don't turn against him. We turn to him and get grace, and it makes us stronger. So someone who understands suffering actually becomes stronger through difficulty. Someone who doesn't understand it falls to pieces during difficulty. So I believe as the heat is being turned up on Christianity, it's exposing root systems right now. And our desire at any point in time, no matter where you're at right now, if you feel like you have a thin root system, God loves to take root systems and begin to deepen them. He wants you to be solid so that when winds and rains beat against your house, you'll stand strong. If you'd like to take these truths deeper, join us here at Ellerslie for one of our upcoming discipleship programs. 